A recycling pilot program for film plastics begins next week. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services rolls back testing requirements for ag workers, and wheat growers can now apply for the Great Lakes Yield Enhancement Network. I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Farm News 5 is brought to you by Ford. Ag film plastics can soon be recycled as part of a mid-Michigan pilot program. The pilot originates from a uh, grant from the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy that the Michigan Recycling Coalition holds to expand and develop markets for agricultural, greenhouse and marine film plastic and be able to recycle those materials that traditionally haven't really had a good outlet in the state. As part of this program, Eaton County's Sunfield Recycling Center and Sunfield Township will begin accepting a range of film plastics on July 14th. So they'll have a list on their website too, but any sort of um, film plastic, so your bunker covers, your greenhouse plastic and things like that. Um, one of our frequently asked questions is about netting. Netting unfortunately is not available to be recycled right now. To prepare your plastic for recycling, we know that it's probably coming from a working farm, so it's not gonna be perfectly clean and we don't expect it to be, but just take out those big chunks of rock or silage or things like that and this will be especially beneficial to you as well because you're going to be paying a uh, weight-based rate to recycle your material so um, ideally you just want to pay for the stuff that you're actually going to be recycling so take out those big chunks of uh, rocks, silage, etc., and then bundle it into approximately two by three feet, so roughly the size of a pillow. doesn't have to be exact, don't have to break out the yardstick, but um, that'll help with processing the material for it to go to the end market. You can visit our website or call and find out about, you know, make sure the material you want to bring is accepted, make sure that you're preparing it correctly and read all those requirements. And then after that, you can make an appointment right directly on our website. Um, appointments are available on days that the center are open already, so Wednesdays and, and Saturdays, but they are very specific in terms of time because we have to make sure site traffic is gonna be okay and make sure we have staff and the time available to unload and, and weigh your material. They'll pull right in the building here and our center staff will help them unload it into a Gaylord box where we'll measure it right directly on our industrial scales. And if there's more than one Gaylord box, we'll just move the process. And then once we've measured that, you get your weight recorded on a material record sheet and you sign that material record sheet and you get a copy of that. And that'll be used in the invoicing process. And once that is done, um, there's nothing else the producer needs to do. They just leave and then we work uh, internally and with our staff to get the material bailed. To learn more about the program, find out what can or can't be recycled, or make an appointment, visit eatoncounty.org. Up next, MDHHS's COVID requirements for ag workers change, but MDARD's emergency rules remain the same. There's torque. Then there's 1,050 pound feet of available best in class torque. There's towing. Then there's up to 37,000 pounds of available best in class towing. There's backing up a trailer. Then there's backing up with available class exclusive pro trailer backup assist. In other words, there are trucks. And then there's the new Ford Super Duty, the most capable heavy duty pickup truck ever built. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services has rolled back COVID-19 testing rules for agricultural workers. The change comes amid increasing vaccination rates, a drop in COVID-19 cases, and expanded access to testing and vaccinations. Michigan Farm Bureau Associate Legislative Counsel Ben Terrell says the work of farmers to create safe workplaces made it clear these orders were no longer necessary. While MDHHS regulations have recently changed, emergency rules set by MDARD have not. The department's emergency rules continue to require that agricultural laborer housing camps establish COVID-19 preparedness and response plans and provide quarantine housing for workers who are exposed to COVID-19. Coming up, the Great Lakes Yield Enhancement Network is now accepting applications. At Farm Bureau Insurance, the experience you get with our local trusted advisors is different. From financial security to a helping hand, Farm Bureau understands the experience matters. Find an agent who can protect what matters to you. Applications are now being accepted for the Great Lakes Yield Enhancement Network, or Great Lakes Yen. Farmers growing winter wheat for the 2021-2022 season in Ontario and the Great Lakes region of the U.S. are invited to apply. 
All farms involved in the Great Lakes Yen will share soil, tissue, and whole plant analysis for comparison and benchmarking, which will allow the team to offer better insight into each field's performance. This program will encourage farmers to try new things and learn from data that are comparable across the Great Lakes region. Apply for the program at GreatLakesYen.com. Potato growers here in Michigan and across the country are calling on the Biden administration to continue pushing Mexico in the dispute over importing U.S. spuds. The National Potato Council sent a letter to the Biden administration expressing serious concern about the long-term prospects for successful market access for U.S. potatoes in Mexico. Earlier this year, Mexico's Supreme Court overturned a lower court's decision that prevented their government from implementing regulations allowing for U.S. potatoes to be imported throughout the entire country. Right now, fresh potatoes from the U.S. are only allowed within a 16-mile area along the U.S.-Mexico border. For more news and videos, visit michiganfarmnews.com or the Michigan Farm Bureau channel on YouTube. With Farm News 5, I'm Janelle Gross. Have a great week of farming.